Hi, this is Emily and welcome to the channel where I do it myself to save money. Today, I will be switching out some lighting in my bathroom. That light right there. We have been slowly switching out the brass colored metal in this bathroom. Um, it is filled with black marble, see? And it used to have a brass shower surround, brass fixtures, brass everything. And we have been slowly switching it. I mean, we've only lived here six years. Um, but today we are working on some of the lighting. So I'm going to be switching that out with a nice LED brushed silver or nickel fixture. All right, here is this fixture. It has been here probably since the house was built in 1991. It is nice and rusty and ready to be switched out. So what I'm going to do first, I'm gonna remove the glass um, cover so that if it falls, it doesn't shatter everywhere. So with that, you just have to loosen these all the way around in order to get the glass bulb off. I'm gonna remove these so that this glass bowl can come off pretty easily so that it doesn't shatter down to the floor. So you do not want that to happen. All right, that one, there we go. That reveals the bulb, which is not that old. We haven't changed it that long ago. So I'm gonna put this down in a safe spot. Next, it looks like there's just some thumb screws holding this in. I have already turned off the electricity um, at the breaker box because you do not want to be dealing with that when you're dealing with rewiring something or changing out lighting. So I've already turned that off. And like I said, I think this is original to the house. I'm not sure that it, it has come down at all in that amount of time. I got one of the screws out working on the second one. All right, I'm pretty sure this is just there we go. And there our light is out. Whoop. So now it's hanging here by just these wires. We have a black wire and a white wire. So I'm going to remove this old light. I'm holding on to the wire that's connected to the lighting fixture so it doesn't come down. Although I will say these wires are pretty tough. Oh. All right, and it looks like this fixture, there we go, didn't even have a ground connected to it, but there it is right there because my new fixture that I have does. So I've got my three wires, my white and black and my ground. All right, so I read the instructions and it's always a good idea to read the instructions. I got the tools that I needed, which is a, a Phillips head screwdriver, and eye protection and wire cutters, although I'm not sure we'll need the wire cutters because I think we'll have a lot of room for the wires. This is a much bigger fixture than what we were dealing with before. So the first thing it says to do is to remove these caps and set them aside. A lot of times with these um, ceiling mount fixtures, you mount basically the lighting part which is this LED. And then once that's up, that's when you put the decorative on top of it. It makes it easier. You have the whole, what's gonna happen is, this is the bracket that's gonna go in my ceiling. And then this will come down and it will mount that way and there'll be a nut that goes there that holds the ceiling fixture up. All right. So I've gotten up here to remove the old bracket and this old fixture had used a flathead screws. So no problem. I have my screwdriver here that has interchangeable heads on it. So I'm just changing it to flathead. And I'm gonna remove these screws. And I have put on my eye protection because this kind of the drywall dust and stuff from the ceiling. Don't want to get it in my eyes while I'm doing this. Safety first. And 
And sometimes it's easier once you get it. Whoop, drop that. Once you get it most of the way out, it's easier to just turn it with your fingers. So you can see that the electrical box has screw holes in it where I just removed the old one. So these brackets have these fixed holes and then these that are slider holes. And I'm not quite sure that this one will line up all the way. So I'm going to use the sliding holes to make sure I put this other screw in my pocket. Make sure that it fits. Okay, once that gets started, I don't need to really tighten it super tight all the way. I want to get the other one started first. So I'm going to do that, get it out of my pocket. All right, put it in the other slider hole. And now that it has started, we can tighten it pretty well. But that is what's going to be holding our light. So we don't want it loosey goosey. I forgot my eye protection. Luckily, nothing went in my eyes. So that is good and tight up there. And now it's time to wire up the light. All right, so now we talked about how black goes to black, white goes to white, and ground goes to ground. This is a little tricky. This light is not very heavy, but if I had a heavier light, I would need somebody up here holding this light while I did this, but it is not very heavy at all. So I think I can just kind of hold it um, with the wires. So I'm gonna twist those on there. Make sure they have good contact. And then I've got my wire nuts that came with the kit. And make sure those are nice and tight on there. So white to white is done. All right. Now we just move on to the black one. Kind of twist that on there to start. I'm going to take off my safety glasses just because they are fogging up with how sweaty I am. All right, that is good and tight. And then I have my ground. But you could also, there's a green screw here. If you didn't have ground wire up there, you can attach the ground wire on here to that green screw because this metal plate will also ground the light, but since we have a ground screw, or a ground wire, I'm gonna use that. All right, now I'm gonna hold this light. I'm gonna screw this on my one hand. Okay, so I'm gonna push some of these existing wires kind of back up into this cavity that the electrical box has because they're kind of tough, kind of strong wires. The ones that came on the light are kind of spindly and will go wherever they need to go, but those are kind of tough. All right, so now I have my post here and that's what's gonna hold the light. So I am gonna attempt to get that threaded on there. There it is. And we have an issue, so it's not long enough. So what I need to do is take the light down and then make that longer. There is an adjustment. So we might need another tool for that. So I got this down, I got it off. This nut will not budge. I don't know if it's soldered on there or what. So without doing that, I can't make this part longer. So I'm troubleshooting what I'm doing 
So I've gotten some washers that will extend. And there's my locking washer that came on it. And I'm going to put the bracket on that way, which will in turn give me that much more so that it hangs down below the light. So now we have to reinstall this up in the ceiling. Okay, we have our bracket back up. It's got the spacer in that is making our post a little bit longer. And I'm crossing my fingers that it's long enough to fit through the light. And again, this is kind of feeling for the hole a little bit. There we go. All right, and it's through there. There's a washer that goes on the bottom. And then in this bag, I should have had it ready in my other hand, but I didn't. Is the nut that holds this on. And I needed to have enough of that exposed to grab on firmly and hold the light tightly up against the ceiling. All right. So that worked. So now, we just have to put the cover on. All right. So we've got the glass plate and this metal cover. Make sure I get that lined up. There we go. It's a little tricky. Drop it. Okay. Once the two are on there, I'm going to feel pretty safe that it's secure up there. Maybe. There we go. if it works all right turn on the electricity works a lot brighter than the old one and i did it myself check us out next time like and subscribe